Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Hopefully you can hear me out here, although the, is it the cicadas I think they're called are being super noisy. We're trying to talk over them and come outside to film because this is currently asleep inside and I didn't want to wake her up. But yeah, hopefully you can hear me. I thought I would film another what I eat in a day video today as I'm currently away in Crete so I thought I would do a little holiday what I eat in a day as I thought I'd show you what I'm eating here. For breakfast, there is actually like a buffet at the hotel but they didn't have sort of many vegan gluten free options besides fruit. So I have been making do with getting my own breakfast instead. We are in sort of like an apartment style accommodation, so we have got a little kitchen. Oh my god, it's so noisy out here. The cicadas just like love the heat. But um, we have got a little kitchen, so I've been kind of getting my own breakfast. And this morning, I am going to have some of this gluten-free nice and knobbly granola, which I did actually bring with me, just in case there wasn't any breakfast options. And then, as you can see, I have topped it with banana, some fresh apricots and cherries. I am definitely missing berries here. Berries just don't seem to be a thing here, or they're not currently in season here. I did get excited. I saw a planet of strawberries. Oh my god, they're getting louder. I saw a planet of strawberries the other day, and I got excited about that, and then realised it was seven euros fifty. So I was like, I'm not paying that. But I have got some fresh apricots, which the hotel actually provided, and then some cherries we found. I've got a cup of green tea as well in like a tiny coffee cup that's like half a mug of green tea but it will do and then I'm also going to top my cereal with some of this Outpro coconut milk which I did actually manage to find in a supermarket here they had all the Outpro milk so that worked perfectly so I will now enjoy my breakfast out here with the um noisy cicadas <laughs> There's literally so many of them so I've just been at the gym and I did a workout today by Georgie Stevenson. It's one that she posted on her Instagram. She has a YouTube and Instagram page. If you don't know her, then she's like an Australian fitness, health, general sort of well-being, lifestyle YouTuber and Instagrammer or influencer in general, really. Um, and yeah, I tried out her workout. She just posted it this morning. And I thought I'd do that today, change it up a bit. I love just like creating my own workouts and doing my own sort of hit style workouts but then I also love going to classes and trying out other people's workouts as well as it changes it up a bit keeps it interesting and make sure that you're not just doing the same thing all the time because then your body just gets so used to it and you don't see as much like benefit from it you just basically get so overused to it and it also just keeps it interesting and more fun changing it up a bit so the one that she posted today was actually a hundred rep challenge and there was seven different exercises of which you have to do 100 of each but the way i did it because definitely doing 100 straight in a row i think would be very much a big challenge so i did five rounds doing 20 reps of each exercise in each challenge in, in each challenge in each round so then it totaled 100 for each exercise if that makes sense but you can like split it up or do it however you want to do it i will link that post down below though if you're interested in it and seeing what exercises it involved but now I am going to have this Planet Organic Chop Chip and Almond Butter Raw Protein Bar. I'll turn the camera around actually so you can see it a bit better. But if you love almond butter and anything chocolate chipped, then this one is definitely for you. It's super, super tasty. It's like kind of fudgy texture. With the chocolate chips in there, it just works so well. I've just been down at the beach for a bit, but I've come back to the hotel room now, well, like our little apartment room now, as I was getting hungry, so I'm going to get myself some lunch. For lunch, I've kind of just been having something here, as the beach is literally across the road, we've also got loads of pools and stuff around here, so that's kind of what we've been doing during the day, and it's just easy to grab some food here. And then at night, we actually go out, find a nice restaurant, we found some really nice restaurants the last few nights. We've got another restaurant booked for tonight as well that we discovered last night while we were out for dinner so then we booked that on ready for tonight but for my lunch i am going to have some kind of veggie pasta dish i have actually found this red lentil pasta here which is great as it will be gluten free and also that will be like an extra source of protein as well because i really struggled to find things like tinned chickpeas lentils all that kind of stuff the only thing i could really find was tinned red kidney beans so i'll have those one day but for the moment i've got this red lentil pasta and then I'm going to chop up some veg so I've got this half carrot left so I'll have 
that, some red pepper, some spinach, and then I've got this bag of mixed frozen veg. It's all in Greek though, so who knows what's actually in here, although you can kind of see from the picture, it looks like a mixture of beans, peas, might be some red pepper, maybe some carrot, and some sweet corn, so I'm gonna add some of that in, and then I'm gonna make like a creamy peanut sauce using a spoon of this crunchy peanut butter from Pippa Nut, which I did bring with me. I bought all my nut butters with me because I'm just too addicted to them to leave them behind. And then also some of this Outpro coconut milk as well. So once the pasta's cooked and the veg is cooked, I'll just stir through this sauce and heat it up. And I've had this a couple of times now and it's actually super tasty. I've also decided that I'm going to add in some courgette. And this was the only kind of courgette that I could find here. It's like kind of striped and I'm pretty sure it's courgette anyway, but it looks quite funky. I quite like it. And here it is all put together. I definitely should make use of frozen veg more often. It's so quick and easy to cook and there's like no prep in getting it ready to cook either. I've just cut myself some pepper and cucumber. I'm going to have it with some of this hummus to keep me going till dinner. It is a lemon hummus. I mean, normally hummus has lemon in it. They didn't seem to have any normal one though, but this one's okay. It isn't quite lemony though but it will do it's better than no hummus at all so i'm gonna have this currently catching up love island as well which you can probably currently hear in the background having to watch it the next day on catch up but we've managed to get it working at least because the wi-fi keeps playing up but it's seeming to manage to catch up with it for dinner we've come to this restaurant which is like i think it well in english i've called it the lemon tree garden so we're sat in a nice little garden surrounded by all these nice trees and they have a vegetarian vegan menu as well so i think that this is what i'm gonna go for thinking i'll probably get the fava beans to start and don't know which salad yet but then for my main i think i'm gonna go for the big stuffed aubergines well it's got other things in it so you i think it's, it might have rice and stuff in it i don't know but i went for the aubergine dip in the end and then also just the greens for my starter but this looks quite tasty it looks like it's got loads of peppers and stuff in it my main has just come now so i've got some stuffed peppers with sort of rice and different veg and stuff and then also some potatoes it looks very tasty they've also given us a nice little plate of fruit although we've eaten quite a lot of it now but there was some normal melon watermelon and cherries to finish with even now got some sorbet being delivered as well we're getting all the free stuff We've just made it back in to the hotel now and I think I'm going to get myself all ready for bed as soon as, well it's only actually half nine but I'm feeling quite tired today so I'm going to get to bed probably quite soon. I hope you have enjoyed this video though, smash a big thumbs up if you have. Also be sure to click on that little red subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel as well as tapping on the notifications bell so that you're notified whenever I upload and I'll be sure to see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye!